Hi, I'm Richard Wagen with the Not So Fashion Show, and today we're gonna talk about becoming a fat burning beast and why you should. And it always drives me up the wall. There's a few studies that are showing this and that's why like actually babies when they're born they can wait two sometimes two or three days until the mom's milk start coming out and they're not gonna be uh, have any issue because they we are naturally born um, fat burners and also like I know there's a few studies about that but I also found it for myself because um, I would recently changed my uh, son's diet because it has a G tube, so we wanted to to try him more, getting like more fats and start burning fat as fuel. So because they have a rare muscle condition, uh, our thought was okay, if burning fat makes you, it helps you build muscle better and and all that. There's like a bunch of benefits from it. We said like, okay, we should try it with him and see what's going on. And he actually got in fat burning mode so quick that I was like very, very impressed just by adding a little bit more fat. So that just proved it to me that we are naturally born fat burners because the way he changed it was like so quick. And we seen like, tremendous benefit from it and if you actually see a picture of him before he started the diet and after like his body completely changed which for him it's like a really really big thing the other thing I like to state is uh, it's your energy levels like right now like I'm not performing in any type of uh, sport pretty much I am doing uh, CrossFit my first com CrossFit competition to raise awareness for my son condition but what I'm trying to say is like my focus is not training for that my focus is actually being a dad and a business owner so what I like to talk about it is like this my energy levels in terms of uh, being able to take care of my son work all day because lately I, that's what I've been doing like I've been building my online courses and I actually been putting a lot of hours into to work but when I come home I'm not exhausted like for example yesterday uh, I went to CrossFit in the morning I came back home like I work like six hours straight doing videos and working on my uh, on my courses and when I came back home I still have energy to go out for a walk with my son you know do all his care uh, at night so your energy levels have just become and I only had one meal yesterday which is I'm gonna talk in a few minutes about it but like your energy level is just like so high that you know you're able to to do all the stuff you need to do and your brain is still functioning like the way it's supposed to be. Besides having a lot of energy, uh, the the relationship with when you become a fat burning beast, the relationship with food change quite a bit because you're not so obsessed with food anymore. You know, like the reason why uh, a lot of people say that we should eat every three hours and all that is to keep the blood sugar stable. But when you burn fat as fuel, your blood sugar is stable like all the time so you're not going up and down and then if you're not going up and if you're going up and down you're you always like when you start going low you're always looking for food and when you're in that roller coaster your life becomes you become a food slave you you're just like looking for food all the time and when you start burning fat as fuel that obsession is gone because your body is stable. Of course, you're gonna be hungry sometimes, but you know, like your 
the the need for food and the need or that you know like that feeling that you're always like okay what are we gonna eat what are we gonna eat what are we gonna eat or being uh, extremely angry when your blood sugars are low uh, all this is gone like I used to have a lot of issues when I was hungry like I you know I I used to be like so nasty when I was hungry and uh, and then now all this is gone you know like all that obsession with food and I almost felt like I was my life was ruled by food so that part is gone so that's for me in terms of life performance it's big because I can go out I can have energy work uh, all day if I need to come back home and still have a lot of energy to spend time with my my wife and son so that's a really big um, it's a really big positive thing also uh, it allows you to play with your fitness a whole lot more for example uh, I haven't ran like consistently or anything like that and the last time I ran probably was like in Colorado six months so it's probably like four months ago so Saturday I decided like hey you know what I felt like running trails so I went to a trail I ran uphill downhill for like an hour and I thought like oh maybe I'm gonna pay the price uh, tomorrow and the next day and I wasn't sore at all and another funny story is I haven't gone on CrossFit for um, like yesterday I went after probably nine days that I haven't gone then I went there uh, empty stomach and and all that and I set a PR on my bench press you know like I'm not I don't I don't feel bad of saying it but when I was a triathlete my bench press was ridiculous low like honestly if I did 80 pounds I would be sore for like a week and um, then yesterday I went there and we had to do uh, reps all the way to do to 95% and you do one rep and I did I did 165 pounds which for me is like beyond words like pretty much you know like I had never done uh, something like that and I thought like oh tomorrow I'm gonna be really really sore but look no I'm not sore at all so that's another beauty of it you can play with your fitness a lot more and it's almost you feel like do you know how your dog goes out and then he runs he never trains and he runs and he beats you and you know like he have all this energy uh, non-stop and he stop he rest and then the next day he's fine it's how I felt you know it's literally how I felt which that, this leads me to the experiment that I'm doing so I decided to do an experiment of 30 days because I wanted to see how the how food actually can um, so I didn't want to talk about it before but because I'm having like such a good results uh, I decided to do this challenge uh, to see how our relationship with food actually affects our happiness, our stress levels and all that stuff. So in order to do that, uh, I decided to do 30 days with just vegetables, uh, meat and uh, a little bit of berries here and there whenever I felt like and I could only eat when I was hungry. Uh, no like pinch eating or just eating just for eating so if I really needed to to focus on that it's only eat when you're hungry when you're truly hungry and I wanted to keep it super simple by that means only six ingredients to uh, six ingredients per meal uh, the only most processed thing that I, I have in, that I included was uh, the oils and butter that's pretty much it so basically I was already eating super good but I was still having uh, stevia cheese uh, every now and then I would try uh, some packaged stuff 
even though it was high fat, good ingredients and all that. But the bottom line is I wanted to just eat uh, things from technically, uh, uh, how can I explain, uh, technically straight from the from the ground you know like or so basically the le the minimal process uh, possible that means just fruits vegetables and meat that's it so I just wanted to you know like I didn't get any um, like salad dressing on the supermarket I did my own uh, I you know like things like that so basically it's just being very extreme to if you think about it it's just eating uh, just eating when you're hungry that's the number one thing that I, I put it in it's because I wanted to change my relationship with food but I also wanted to test how that affects my stress levels my work my relationships and stuff like that uh, so repeating again 30 days nothing processed uh, only uh, vegetable fruits and meat that's it no stevia no cheese no nothing like that requires some sort of uh, processing no nothing from a package either and it's been incredible uh, my results and like it's for me like the, the feeling that I'm getting it's beyond explainable and then the other day like actually my wife did uh, uh, a statement for me says like from my stress level which is gonna be on the video uh, uh, when I finish those 30 days so I had technically 10 more days but I feel so good that I don't even feel like I need to to change because it's like it's incredible so basically it's like no powders no alcohol uh, just like plain and simple six ingredients and you know like my body is just like reacting amazingly for for that so I hope you uh, follow me to to see what's going on because it's been an incredible incredible journey on this 20 days so far and I can't imagine what's gonna happen if I keep it going but what I've noticed that it's it's funny because like even though I was eating pretty good before uh, I still was were having like some sort of like stevia here and there or also I would do uh, keto pizza uh, on the weekend and things like that you know it doesn't sound much for when you listen to it but it made a huge difference in my energy levels and how I felt and the fact that I'm just eating when I'm truly hungry uh, is leading me to just eat uh, twice a day and sometimes just once a day because I'm not hungry and but the difference is my uh, that I saw was really how my relationship with food you know like for the first seven days you know like I did what I usually do is like I finish doing all the treatments with my son and all that at night and I will go straight to the fridge look at it to find something to eat even though I wasn't that hungry so I wanted to to change that and by day seven I started to to change and I started to say like okay you know what I'm satisfied I don't I don't need this plus like uh, if you are not really hungry you're not actually gonna prepare something to eat you're just gonna be uh, if you're not really hungry you're just gonna grab whatever is in front of you uh, but when you are truly hungry then yes like you go and prepare but you know that's what I wanted to see the relationship between me and food or like us as humans and food and it's been incredible hopefully uh, in a few days from now I'm gonna have uh, like a mini document documentary going on and but I just want to say that it's an incredible feeling and 
uh, it feels like I'm more connected uh, with myself and stress levels are way lower the way I respond to things are a lot uh, different than before and and it's been only 20 days so check it out uh, follow me if you want to 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 see what's gonna happen on the end of these 30 days but uh, like I said it's really been a game changer in my life so this is it for today guys uh, subscribe to my channel um, check out my website I have four uh, new online courses coming up uh, the Unfashion of Self Project the Fat Burning Beast uh, I also have the No Bone Athlete which is uh, all about a sports performance and I have the Triathlon Plain and Simple it's gonna be the first uh, online triathlon course because I haven't seen any yet but the online triathlon course is just about um, my tips the, that I learned how to come from ground zero to uh, a nine hour Ironman so that's all my tips in there coming from overweight smoker to a nine hour Ironman so it's there's a book that I wrote it that's on Amazon but I'm I'm about to be done with the with the course and videos and stuff like that so check it out richardwigan.com uh, and unfashion yourself Chance to run. Yep. But instead, you stayed and now you.